Sonia from Yummy and Yummy. Hope you all are having a wonderful day. So today I've come with a very special recipe. So today's recipe is Rasakalan. Not just regular Rasakalan but Gurdwara temple style Rasakalan. My hometown is Gurdwara and I'm very proud and blessed to be born in Gurdwara, the divine abode of Lord Gurdwara Pan. So those who have been to Gurdwara and have tasted uh, Rasakalan for Prasad Uta might know how divine it tastes and you can never have enough of it, right? So coming back to this uh, recipe, I got this recipe from my mom. She makes amazingly delicious rasakalan. The ingredients are pretty simple and anyone can make it. So let's see if we can recreate a uh, Gurdwara temple style rasakalan. So here I have a uh, one cup of chopped pumpkin, one and a half cup of chopped ash cord or winter melon. Some curry leaves, uh, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, one tablespoon of chili powder, some salt, and two cups of water. First, we need to cook the vegetables, so I'm adding the pumpkin, uh, winter melon, turmeric powder, chili powder, salt, curry leaves, and two cups of water into the pan. Cook the vegetable until it's almost cooked and some of the water evaporates. This curry needs a pouring consistency. The gravy should not be thick so feel free to add up to 2.5 cups of water. Now we need to make a coconut paste for the curry. So this is 2 cups of scraped coconut, 3 to 4 green chilies, half teaspoon of cumin, one and a half cup of uh, yogurt or curd. Uh, for this curry you need to take really sour yogurt or curd. Now we can start grinding the coconut to a fine paste. Uh, for that first I'm adding just the coconut, uh, cumin seeds and green chilies and grinding it without adding water or yogurt so that the coconut flakes breaks down into even smaller pieces and helps in getting a smooth paste. Now it's ready so now I'm going to add yogurt little by little and grind it until I get a smooth coconut paste. Now the coconut paste is done and it has come out really smooth and we can pour this over the vegetables. Now the vegetables are cooked and some of the water has evaporated and we can pour the ground coconut mixture over it and give it a good mix. Um, cook the curry for about 2-3 to three minutes until it starts to just boil and a layer of froth can be seen on top. Do not overcook it because sometimes the yogurt or uh, curd can split. So now the curry is done and we can switch off the flame. Now for tempering, we need few curry leaves, 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds, half teaspoon of any Greek seeds, some dried red chilies uh, and 3 to 4 tablespoons of coconut oil. When the oil turns hot, I'm adding the mustard seeds and when it starts to splutter, um, I'm adding the fenugreek seeds, curry leaves and the dried red chilies. And now it's ready and we can pour it um, over the curry. So now our sweet, spicy, sour rasakalan is ready to serve. You can also add a tablespoon of sugar to the curry, uh, but I'm not adding as the pumpkins were really sweet. So thanks a lot friends for watching and I would love to hear your feedbacks about my uh, videos and recipes. And I also share the details of the recipes in the description box below. So do check that out. And once again, thank you.